Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Wright, and today I want to come to you and talk to you about that oath that I told you about in the last video. When I said you got to make an oath unto God, yes, we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to tell you everything that you should write down. The reason the Lord gave this to me was because sometimes we don't hold to agreements unless we sign a contract, right? But in this hour, God is saying, I don't need a contract from you to say anything because you could break a contract. I want an oath get that pen and get the writing okay and you might want to hang it up somewhere where you can see it every day i don't know if you're gonna put it in your office hang it up on the wall or over your bed and um, on the wall so that way you can look at that oath every single day and know when you get up i got to perform the lord's will okay so we're gonna title it yes lord to your will okay listen if i go too fast for you i'm not trying to make this video long so just rewind it a little bit and you know go back over it I want a covenant relationship with you. I want to be pleasing in your sight. I want to submit to your will. I want to obey your every word. I want to abide in you and you and I. I love you, Lord. I'm ready to grow up and stop acting like a baby. I enjoy walking on my journey with you. It's like no other. I came from filthy rags and you washed and cleaned me up. Thank you for continually favoring me. I know I'm daddy's daughter, or if you're daddy's son, I know I'm daddy's son, okay? You can replace that right there. I am a child of the most high king no other king ever came before you and there will be none after god reigns forever and ever i know you love me because i love you the only way up is to trust you i trust you lord you are my source i will do your will from this day forward. I'm connected. Your most humble servant, your child, whatever your name is, okay? So you know how you end a letter. If I don't know how old y'all are, if y'all still doing letters or whatever, but okay, my age, we did official letters. And at the end of it, you sent your regards and then you put your name in there and sign your name, right? So that's what you're going to have to do at the end of this oath. It's, uh, after you put your humble servant, you're going to put your child and you're going to put your name. So put your name on there, sign it, and print your name okay you can write it out you can type it up however you want to do make it fancy and pretty put it in pink purple blue green orange whatever it is that's going to get your attention and give you the motivation to look at it every single day to know that you are committed to god's will because god has blessings for you and it's just not about blessings it's about fulfilling the promises of god and the adam and eve experience that they had in the garden was really just living a life of peace, bliss, happiness, joy. They didn't have a care in the world. They wasn't struggling and, and hustling trying to get a dollar. They had everything that they needed right there in that garden. But Eve had to go commune with the snake. When that snake approached her, she bit the bait. So don't bite the bait. Don't go talking to the uh, snakes and stuff. Leave them alone. Do what God tells you to do in this hour. And try to cut off and limit as much outside noise as possible. TV, radio, uh, social media, whatever it is. Because you want to hear the voice of God. You really don't want to hear the enemy's voice coming in and, and tricking you. And then you bite the bait by mistake. This is a season where we have to really be focused and diligent. And I'm going to do another video because um, <clears throat> it's going to be called Watch Your Mouth. And that's because a lot of people really don't understand the words that they use coming out of their mouth. People speaking, 
listen, watch that next video. Y'all got to stay tuned. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for being a loyal subscriber. I love you with the love of God. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Take me back to the Lord, if you will, um, and determine if I am the one for you that you should be following um, here. So, until next time, y'all, I love you with the love of God. We got some great things in store this year. Um, I'm, ta I'm not talking about just me. I'm talking about you, too, because the, from the moment that you sign this oath, I want you to have a whole full empty notebook ready because God is going to release the downloads of what you are to do next. Stay connected. If you're going to subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and there will be plenty more downloads and information that you will need for this journey to help you, tools to help guide you. We are a community, so so be careful who you connect it to. If you feel led and God tells you to follow a person, go ahead and follow their ministry because they will be able to help assist you in whatever area God has called you to, and that's why God has led you to that person. So just be mindful. Take everything back to the Lord okay until next time I love you be blessed and we grow if I don't grow you don't grow if you don't grow we can't grow collectively so let's grow <laughs>